Hi friends, today we have a topic macrophytes. Okay, so macrophytes simply they are the aquatic plants. Okay, so the plants, the vegetation which is seen in or nearby the water is called as macrophytes. Okay, so simply it is a aquatic plant. So, the macrophyte is an aquatic plant that grows in or near the water. Right, and there are mainly three types of macrophytes, emergent, submergent and floating. Okay, so the types of macrophytes are emergent, submergent and floating. Right, so you can see that whenever you are visiting the lakes and pond like that, you can see there are, there may be three types of vegetation which you are seeing there. Okay, some plants may be floating there. Right, some may, some will be seen underneath of the water. Okay, and some will be emerging from the top of the water. Right, so like that there are three types of vegetation or aquatic plants or macrophytes in the wetland region. So, macrophytes are aquatic plants that grows in or near the water and there are three types of macrophytes emergent, submergent and floating. Okay, so those macrophytes, those aquatic plants which are floating on the water is called as floating macrophytes. Right, and those macrophytes or those aquatic plants that are always submerged under the water is called as submergent macrophytes okay so they will be always present under the water right then the third one is the emergent plant emergent macrophyte that means they will start from the bed of the lake and it will grow towards the atmosphere so we can see the top of the emergent on the surface okay so the emergent aquatic plant they will root in the lake bed right then it will grow towards the atmosphere okay so we can see the top of the aquatic plant above the water body right so that is called as emergent so like that there are three types of macrophytes so what is the significance of this macrophyte is they are maintaining a nutrient level in the water body and also they are providing a cover for the living organism in that water body so in lakes and rivers the macrophytes provide cover for fish and the substrate for aquatic invertebrates provide oxygen and act as a food for some fish and wildlife okay so macrophyte is maintained in the ecology of wetlands right so macrophytes or aquatic plants are maintaining the ecology or biodiversity of the wetlands okay so they will provide the food oxygen right and also they are maintaining the nutrients right thereby they are maintaining the pollution okay so we know that excess of nitrogen and phosphorus all will be leaching to the water body from the nearby land areas right so whenever the excess nutrients are present in the water that will lead to uh, algal bloom and also eutrophication right so this nitrogen and phosphorus will be absorbed by the macrophytes thereby they are maintaining the nutrient level thereby it is purifying the water okay so because they are absorbing this nitrogen and phosphorus they have a good role in maintaining the water quality of the wetland right so a decline in the macrophyte community may indicate water quality problems and the changes in the ecological status of the water body okay so a decline of these macrophytes will lead to which will indicate the water quality problems right and also when the macrophytes are increased in abundance that will also leads to ecological problems okay because it will utilize more of the nutrients which are available for the other wildlife other living organisms okay so the decline of macrophytes community may indicate the water quality problems and such problems may be the result of excessive turbidity herbicides or salinization okay so one of the important functions performed by these macrophytes is uptake of dissolved nutrients that is nitrogen and phosphorus from the water okay and the overly high nutrients levels in the water may create over abundance of macrophytes which may in turn interfere with the lake processing also that means ecology will be disturbed okay so these are the main points regarding macrophytes now let's move on to the model question consider the following statements macrophytes are aquatic plants that grows in or near water obviously that's a correct statement right second statement a decline in a macrophyte community may indicate water quality problems. That's also a correct statement because they are absorbing the nitrogen and phosphorus. Thereby they are maintaining the water quality. Right. So that's also a correct statement. So answer is C both 1 and 2. Okay. 